have you found a, a, a new religion or have, have, have you even thought about going into something else or, 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 or are, yeah. you, are you just, are you sort of a, hum, a humanist or an agnostic or something? Is, no. is that all? You know, I'm none of those things. You know, mm. I did, you know what, you know what, how I would describe it, bro? Like the best spiritual journey. I don't, that's not even the right word. Cause I don't even want to use that word because of the connotations it has. I don't, I know that I don't know. Let me put it that mm. way. I don't have any idea what happens in the afterlife. I don't know if you go into blankness or I don't know if there's reincarnation. I have no opinions on that, but what did, what did happen? <clears throat> I figured <clears throat> what's called an apophatic process. Meaning if you take away everything that's not true, you'll at least be left with what's true or it, you'll be able to see clearly. So my whole like way of framing how to get out of Scientology and not join another cult. How do I find out what's true or not? How do I get in touch with my likes and dislikes? Like just the very basic rudimentary shit that getting out of a cult put me in touch with. It kind of regressed me to a six-year-old. I felt like a baby. I was way behind the education level because all I studied was Scientology from what you know. So I studied science. I studied basic psychology. I studied everything you're supposed to learn just to get up to normal knowledge. But like I told you, I recognized the programming in, the, in schooling. Most of what I was taught was bullshit. Not all of it. I questioned fucking everything because I was so paranoid about this experience and I don't want it to happen a second time. So I just started questioning all my beliefs on the very most fundamental level. And so by doing that, I didn't come to like, I have no desire to join another religion. I'm not looking for another group. I don't actually need any of that. All I figured is that we would already know a lot of stuff minus the way I look at it is basically like when I popped out of the womb, like I told you, I knew what I wanted to do. I was a right brain artist. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to conform to the system. Not, not that I didn't try and not that I didn't necessarily want to. I tried because that's what you're supposed to do. But I think even out of the womb, I had a, some kind of an awareness where I wasn't going to take the normal path. And this is the challenges that I was going to meet inevitably anyways. And they were going to teach me all the stuff that I would have gotten from what other people are claiming they're getting in a religion or by following this belief system or that belief system. I honestly don't believe anything. I don't have a belief system. What happened is, is I simply, this will be an ongoing process, but I think in our natural state, we're not retarded and we were, there's just more to life basically. And then we go through this system where we're to be a cog in a machine and not question too much from cradle to grave. So what happened to me is I simply deprogrammed, not just from Scientology, and, but the wider, everything. I questioned everything, my own belief systems and everything. And I stopped projecting my own unconscious blind spots and I'd pull them into myself. So my whole religion was just simply deprogramming. I feel like uh, left to our natural state, we're creative people and we want to, you know, man basically is good. And there's just a handful of predators. And uh, that predatory aspect causes a lot of us to go through a programming system, like I said, from cradle to grave, which gives us a false identity, a persona, which we need somewhat of. We can't be totally open. There's nothing wrong with a persona, but that, that we lost the plot so long ago as a human race that I feel like the only way out is to undo simply the programming and what you're left with is what was there all along. So when I look back, that's what I said, my life's so absurd and the choices I made, my parents made, and that were thrust on me were, not, were so unnecessary and such a detour when there was nothing to fix to begin with, I just needed to be left alone. I just, I didn't actually even need to go to school. I knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to be an artist. So if I was left to my intuition, which is my guiding force nowadays, mm. I don't need any group or any cult or anybody to tell me what to do. I know what's right for me. And I, and I know what the right thing to do is too, because like I said, I'm not falling for all the scams around me. Uh, that's it, dude. That's the only thing. That's my religion. It's like, I don't, I don't fear death. I don't need to know what happens after that either. That's another thing. Like Scientology teaches certainty where you, of course, it's natural to want to know the answer to these things, but I'll find out when I get there. And it, I don't, I just don't need to know, bro. Everything that I needed to know was just simply, who am I? What am I doing here? What is this world? And a lot of those questions got answered by simply going through an intense microcosm of the macrocosm, a version of programming in Scientology, sussing it on the wider scale, questioning my beliefs down to their core and getting back to where I started when I popped out of the womb, <clears throat> if I was just left alone.